Hey, I'll join another chat. It's uh, your boy Kirjeet69, and today I'm going to be giving y'all a tutorial on how to play a meta Japan. So, first things first, we're going to go to your natural focus order. Now, on the right side of your screen, you're going to be prompted what focus order you're going to do, but I'll also describe it to you verbally. So, we're gonna, you're going to purge through this focus, you're going to do the guides about Zuzdos, then you're going to get War Economy, then you're going to get your Research July, War Industry. National Defense State, Spiritual Mode, and this will give you this is all your economy. These two you do later. Next, you're gonna do the Lisbon Conference, the Greater East, Prosperity Fear, and then Marco Polo, which will give you China War. And then once you do these focuses over here, you're gonna pivot over, and your goals is going to be to get the zero, which is a a fighter carrier too, which is very good because you can get it early. So the most efficient way to do it. Do naval estimates, then do army expansion, fighter modernization, agility focus, carrier warfare, first air fleet. And that's everything for focus wise. Passes then, it doesn't really matter too much. Like, you can levitate back, you can do warrior spirit, you can do um, south, strike south, which I'll probably do next because you can get uh, Indochina. And then also make sure to get supremacy of will because you're going to need the 10% bonuses for recovery rate, defense, and attack. Alrighty, so now to the next stage, which is research. Research is kind of tricky. I, I kind of struggle with it because I'm a boomer. But for the most part, your first focus is pretty simple, but you need to be tight and make sure you don't screw up. So, I, on the right, let's say construction. We're gonna do these focuses. Ba, 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 ba. And your doctrine. And you're gonna do superior firepower for your doctrine all the way down. Now, for your next set of focuses, for construction, you're gonna levitate over. And you just wanna start working on artillery, support companies, just anything that will buff your army. Docs, your air doctrine, all these, you need fighter ones, you just need to research all these things. Just to passively upgrade yourself. So it, it realistically doesn't matter, make sure you just have the essentials. You're not doing tanks in this meta. You're gonna get planes. You're gonna go for battlefield support. You're gonna go left, and then that's all you have to do. Go all the way down the doctrine, and you're gonna skip uh, tactical bomb because we're not going for bombers. And realistically, I mean, you could do these. They're not too important. Make sure to not spend air XP. Uh, for electronic engineering, you're gonna go like uh, mechanical computing, then radio, and then back to computing machine to get the research. And then make sure that you're gonna go to spurs industry. And that might be kind of hard to follow, sorry if it is, but it's just how it be. It, it, it realistically doesn't matter as long as you guys have all these buffs that, all these buffs researched. And for your support companies, you're going to do logistics and signals. So next up, I'm going to show you how you do your divisions. Okay, so I'm back. I actually did an XP to show you just the templates you're going to use. For the for the Hoi Sudan, what I like to do, I like to change the symbol. Name doesn't really matter, but this is what you should look like. Uh, you're gonna have support artillery, and then you're, it's gonna be a 14-4, which is pretty easy for this division. Make sure no marines. Artillery. And then with the two other support companies, you're gonna have logistics and signals. And this is basically the best infantry division you can have. Then, tanks won't matter, cavalry won't matter, motorized won't matter. For these, these are just gonna be your garrison. This is all you gotta have. Bop, 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 this is a San Antonio for shovels. Then with the Marines, you're basically going to make 14-4 Marines. Basically just the same thing you just had for your, for your other divisions, it's just different. Just Marines. 14-4 Marines. And you'll probably get around on 30, maybe 4 of these guys by China War. But these are all the divisions you'll have. And then for your starting beast army, it's kind of good at organizing it. But my personal strat, I, I don't really know what's too meta, but I still roll with it. And I get all the divisions. I get all the 14 fours. Bop, 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 bop. Make sure I got all of them. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop. You do all that. Bang. Beast boss man. Make sure you get any other ones you can see. 
got it. There's one more in here. Start off with a 15. Bam. So by the end of the by the end by like mid 37, you, you should have 20 fully stocked 14 fours. And then I, I just disband all the cavalry tanks. Motorized, because it's just all crap you don't need. And I'll take some equipment that you can't really afford. And bam. So this is all you'd have for an army for the base game. 45 divisions. And then you will send three divisions over to Spain when the Civil War breaks out to get the army XP you need. And you'll probably get around 250. And also you need you need to send air volunteers to Spain. If your rules allow it, which they probably should. And you'll I mean you'll get like a lot you'll probably get five hundred XP. And that's that's the main thing for your army, for generals, uh, this is your main guy, your main attacker is going to be this guy. And then this will be your second main guy, and then for your marines, where's the, you're going to find this guy, he's your commando. So out of supply, you get the, the minus 25%, which will help you tremendously. He's a very good general. And then for your field marshal, you're going to do Hesashi Turushi. If I said that right, probably not, but that, that's... About all you need to worry for your for your army. Late game, make sure you just have a fuck ton of twenty widths. Maybe an <laughs> army or two. Maybe an army and a half of fourteen fours. Cause you're gonna have a, you need a lot of garrison for your, all your islands in the Pacific. Blah blah. Okinawa. Yeah, and that's it for your army. So next up, we're gonna go over to your political power order. The exact order. All right. So now that I cheated in political power, the order that you're gonna do things is bam, silent workhorse, bam. Mil this military theorist, and then infantry guy for for Spain, and then I think industri industrial concerns your next best option. And then you go back to your army and you do oh, Batman. And if you have the um, if you have the focus done, which you probably won't by this time, I would distance the f uh, aircraft you're gonna do for the 20% agility, which is insane. These guys, you really, these really don't matter, but probably raw war and just list and industrial list because by this time you're gonna be making um, mills for a little bit. And then beyond this point, it doesn't matter. You're not going for tanks. You're not really gonna be researching naval. But by the time you're kind of done, I would get this just for the the buffs for your navy. That's one I would go with, but while building ships is kind of a pain in the ass. That's the best one. So, and then if you want to, you can go for an infantry designer. Your third general you're gonna get is I tend to go with this guy, just for the less. And then for air, you go for the air superiority. Navy, you go for the size of battle. And then this guy, you're gonna go for the army drill. Because by this time, you're gonna do extensive. And you're most likely gonna do free trade as well, sometime in the middle before China it, it really depends on what how your game is because let's say you have like a, sh a bitch Germany who doesn't want to give you trade bags then you're fucked but let's say you have a good Germany and you're kind of going more meta then you would definitely want to go free trade for the insane bonuses and then sometime you're gonna want to go back to limited if probably by 1940 when you start needing a lot of resources it's just take it as you will also you could just go export just you really want to try and left it away from limited for the bonuses, but that's about it for political besides um, decisions. Now the thing with decisions, which is you're, wanna do, you're going to want to do prioritize steel for guns because you're going to get the four mils, which is just very, very good. <laughs> very, very, very good. But besides that, nothing. you don't you don't need to test the Soviets. You might want to cheat on the, the treaties or just abandon them if you can. But as well, when you get to the war with China, which I'll show later, there's a decision you're going to want to do. So on to the neck. Okay, since I was a boomer and I forgot what to say, we're gonna do we're gonna go on to construction and production. So construction is pretty simple for Japan. Uh, you build you build sieves, you build sieve higher infrastructure, bop bop bop. And these are all the sieves you're gonna build for now. Next you're gonna build synths, and by this time you should have building slots. I'm just gonna build them. Don't build them in these in these provinces because they're pretty ass. Bop bop bop. And also, uh, you want to make this port into a level 8 port. Most people go to level um, 10, but it's just, I don't see the worth in the investment. And also a level 5 airbase, at that below. And your main cuckoo should do its industry focuses and should get infrastructure effort, so you won't need to worry about that. Those are your main industries for construction. 
and then over to production. The way the layout will change as you build more mills. But guns are kind of a pain in the ass. You're gonna have about five there, five there, which won't be too doable. You're gonna get rid of fighters for ass, rid of carrier bombers, and you're just gonna build casts. Cast is the real shot we're going for. You're gonna get three factories, so you're gonna have basically four and four. I prioritize artillery. Support equipment you can build up on, but guns are gonna hurt. And then that's all you need to do for your production. But also add motorized, beware of planes. So you're gonna have the zero coming up, no tanks, ships, make sure you have convoys. But you're gonna wanna be building carriers the whole game, which I'll explain in a moment when I explain Navy and your air. Which I'll explain next actually. So I don't know how I'm doing. I'm gonna recharge. You're gonna get your fleet. Add them all up. Click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. Blah, 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 blah. And you press G. After you merge your entire fleet, you're gonna hire this man for your admiral. And here, I'll pause real quick and I'll just show you where to. Okay, so now that I've merged the fleet, you're gonna go to your. You have about four carriers base game. But here, you're gonna go over to your plans. And you see these, these groups are just horrendously ass. So your main strat, I'm not going to do all the carriers because it's a pain, I don't even want to do it. But you're going to disband all these, there's this stupid position you lay out. And you're just going to lay out your planes like this. You're going to get 10, make sure all your planes are in depth stacks of 10. So we got 10 there, let's get 10 carry bombers, bop, bop, and then bop, bop. Look at that, 16 that carry. Now if you're air, your air, uh, your planes, I'll just have them all over here. Just have them all go to Kanto. Now they're all here, and these are some really shitty. Just you want to have these all in the hundreds, so get your fighters. Get my gas, hundred casts. Okay, let's duplicate that. So now one cast is made. Then you're gonna have you want to have your planes organized, and then have them ready to be able to be shipped over to Beijing when you build the airports here. But that is all you have to do for the early game for your navy and your planes. Oh, actually I forgot, I totally completely forgot. Make sure all your ships deploy on on your fleet. Okay. And then make sure on the plus and minus, make sure they're only gonna make one ship. Bam, 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 bam. And my personal preference is I would like to drag these to the bottom and have these guys all get stacked up and speed faster. Bam, 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 bam. And bop, bop, bop. Put 10 naval dockyard so then when the ship finishes, a ship finishes, it goes to the next. And look at that. Now you bring these down, all the way down, and bring these all the way down. Look at that. So all these destroyers are fixed, make sure they're all in one. And now for your trade. So, at the start of the game, you're just trading oil with the US. I, I just I hate it like that, but that's how it be. You're gonna wanna buy all your stuff from Manchuku. You'll be down a little bit of steel, reason for an hour. You're down 13 steel, so if you want to spend an extra sieve, you can support LT or Germany. You could buy a sieve or a factory of steel, and now you're down by five. So, I mean, you're not really impacting anything too important. You're just supporting some ships. And that's all that's primarily you have to do for your production, construction, and your navy and planes. So, next, I'm gonna show you what to do with your spies. Okay, so your sp so for Japan, spy spy stuff is gonna be quite expensive for you. It's gonna hurt you a good bit. So I wouldn't do too many upgrades. But at some point in 1936, I would get your agency made, and I would get five upgrades, so that you have two spies that you could use for resistance. And those upgrades you want to do. I don't, it doesn't really matter what you do besides two of them. Two of them you're going to need to do on root out resistance, which is in defense. And that will help you support resistance and will save you guns and manpower and shit. So those are those two. For other stuff, I mean, you could do like um, counterintelligence, you could do army intelligence, you could do uh, deciphers, but you have to upgrade that, which is kind of expensive. It's up to you. And next, I'm going to show you what you're going to do with your man Coco. Okay, for your, so for this part, it, this is a very short segment, but you're still want to make sure your Manchuku is doing the right focus. It's going to his industry. Make sure they're giving you manpower. Shit like that. 
are not manpower or civilian factories. That's going to be very important. It's going to help you a lot. They need to get the, the research. And for their army, make sure they're just going to go for 10 widths and go for mountaineers. Or not even that. They just need to have mountaineers. As many as they can. That, that is their mind thing. If you're doing single player, you can just get free 47k manpower. This is easy. That's free. That's about it. Also, you might want to build... If steel's kind of being an issue, you can build infrastructure here at some time. Probably later, maybe 30, 1939. By that time, it'll, there'll probably be like a hundred worth of steel by here with their focus. And that's all you have to really worry about with Manchuko. They don't have to worry about it too much. Make sure they don't NX Manchuko for too long. If they can, I don't know if they can do it, but I heard that you can. Maybe they can. I don't know. That's the main importance. So. That's all there really is. I'm gonna show you the China War. So I'm gonna play the game out. I'll get the China War by like 37. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I went to back to one of my test saves I was doing for this my meta. And this is kind of my, my failed attempt. I basically gave up. But, so what I did was that my mistake with this game was that I did not de escalate the war in China. So, with this decision, escalate the war in China. You do support the US, but it, it, it's really worth doing this. Because you have this debuff where you lose 4% attack and they're just, just hella debuffs and you can't do a whole lot of attacking. I mean, you can break around here with the 14 fours against 10 widths. But besides that, you're not, you're just don't want to wait. You're going to clear the war and you're just going to keep spamming the decision. Probably about 3 or 4 times and then you attack. So I attacked. I, I, this is the line you have. I'll, I'll draw a little fallback line to represent it. But this is your front line, okay? With your 14 fort army, your 20 width army is going to be on the border with uh, Shanxi. And with your 14 fours, you're probably going to—they might attack you for a bit. But it's AI. If it's player, they shouldn't attack you. But you're most likely either going to want to attack Tianjin because you're not have two slots to attack. You you kind of want to avoid Beijing. It's kind of just harder. It will be more defended. Or you go for this tile, but you can only attack from here. So if this is somewhat lightly defended, maybe with less than 10 divisions, and you have 3 14 fours, you can break this easily. And then you want to break the river. Make sure you get past it. You can also try and go push here and circle that, or push there and circle that. Bring it. This is kind of a hard tile to attack. Or you can try and circle the entire front. After you break the river, you go across and block that. Circle like 60 divisions. It really just depends on what the China does. Also, so by this time you're going to have about five marines. I have three, because this is a bad run. But you're going to want to just invade. I like to just try where I do it. Okay, so I'll show you. So I get this guy. I have my three marines. I invade there. I get another marine. I invade the port. And the last marine goes here. Now what will happen is sometimes you might have support divisions, probably not, but you will invade, your two marines will hold here, and then your other marine will land, and this marine, that uh, while being supported by these two, will push out, and you're gonna, there's probably be a few divisions here that you can circle, and you also have a new front that will pull divisions, and your marines will hold because you're 14 force. And then after that invasion, once your main army pushes and gets his area conquered, you're gonna aid and invade by Nanjing and take over this and try to invade down here. This will be more fortified and this will be much harder because of the terrain is hard to attack. Don't invade down here, but just either Sun Tzu, Shanghai, or Hangzhou. Those are the main things. And also, I, it just might be banned, but if you encircle their capital, you basically encircle their entire country. So you can just slowly start pushing and pushing. I would say start going. By this time, you could just do an offensive line. Make sure you pull down the visions. You could, um, since I was just a single player, I, I called off. I called all the AI divisions for me, and I had an extra front. But you can spread it out. I'll spread the, these out more, so that your 14 force can get more of a punch, probably from this line all the way down, and then your marines to have a new southern front. And you're still not having offensive line push, go all the way across China. Also. With the new armor, you're gonna want to have uh, probably your garrison divisions you had. And then send them down to Indochina to defend your rubber. Also, pull divisions off the main front. 
And then for air, make sure you have the airport here with a thousand planes. And then you still do want to pivot the air. I don't even know why I have green air. Oh, I do. I have green air here. And I have green air here. This area is kind of more of a pain. So the Russian air, the Russian air volunteers will definitely support you because it is give you air XP for planes, which is just hella worth it. And then you get the zero, and it's going to be very good. And that's about all there really is for the. Oh my god, sorry. The Japan meta. I'm not gonna go into the Philippines, stuff like that. It's kind of just annoying. But I, mean, I can do a quick description. Is that your Siam's gonna build this at level 10 infrastructure to supply you, then build a level 10 airport. There's gonna be a big air war here. You're gonna have to try and break uh, Malaya. Also, simultaneously, you're gonna be invading Borneo with your Marines army, which should have 10 divisions, so just 5 extra 14 fours. And then, all the while, you have troops that are guarding this. Your Manchuku should guard this. And then you should have a little, tw your 20 left army should guard the Raj. Along with another partial army you may have. And then, once you kill Malaya, hope as long as you should kill this with this meta, you will invade Sumatra, Java, and Dutchies in just the entire Dutchies Indies. Also the Philippines, if you do this relatively fast. And you will gain significant resources. Rubber, tungsten, steel, a shit ton of rubber, and then oil will also come to your arms a lot easier. Then your next goal will be to kill the Raj, which is actually a very fun war. And you're gonna push to Burma, and then they'll most likely build up along, along this river and defend. Or they may build up on the mountains, it really just depends what the Raj does. But it should be good. You can also naval invade some of the ports. Like Maduri, and let's conquer some shit over there. Take over the southern of India, or take the um, uh, Sri Lanka. That'll help. All the while, your navy is out on strike force in these areas. You want to try and bait the American navy into fighting your navy here, or you just kamikaze them to death. And then also, you could try and invade their islands or just defend your islands. You have a huge naval with the U.S. with the planes and all your ships. So make sure to build air bases on some of these islands. It will greatly benefit you. And this is all there is in the video. I'm now like fried and I want to die. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, please subscribe. That's my one big. Because I want to try to get monetized. You guys will never have to watch my videos ever again. Just hit subscribe. That would be very great. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.